Okay, let's grab the data from Coggle. Here's the file we're interested in. President, county, candidate. So what it gives you here is it gives you the state, gives you the county and the state, gives you the candidate, their party, and how many votes they got. So that's the CSV. Now what we're going to do here is we're just going to simply drag that over here into C-Phrase and load it in. So now that we've uploaded the CSV, we can see that it's being represented here in C-Phrase. So we go here and we can just launch this to verify that it's running. So we launch it. It's up. And over here we can just simply see what, the, what are the columns. There they are. Uh, let's just get the states. So there's our states. Put that to the sidebar here so we can use it. And then let's just look at maybe what the returns are in Michigan. So in Michigan here, now we're going to have the full record. Okay, so now we show we have the data, but what we're interested in doing is just analyzing this data using Benford's law. So we come back here, and then we're going to go into the actual configuration. So here's the configuration in this GUI tool. Here it is in just a flat representation. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to paste in the report that lets us calculate Benford's. Okay, here's the report. So there's some technicalities here that I won't go into, but the essence of it is this SQL statement here, which takes whatever question that the user typed or the whatever query is derived from the question the user typed. And it, what this is doing right here, this is casting the number of votes as text, and then it's plucking out the very first character. So if you had a number of like 155, then that would be a one. If you had a number here, that represented, say, 744, that would be a 7. Okay, So it pulls that out, calls a digit, and then it counts how many uh, of the uh, records have that as the first digit, and it's grouping by then the digit. So we'll see when this, when this comes out. Now, we're also giving this a lexical name called Benford. Okay, So now let's go rerun the, the interface. So now what we're going to do is we're basically just going to get the, uh, let's get the candidates here. Okay, move them over to here. And then let's wind up, just get the states as well here. Okay, this will make things a little bit easier. So what I'll do now is I'll just simply say something like this, Benford, and then let's get the Benford of, uh, let's see here. So we have a lot of candidates here. We'll clean this up in a second. We'll see. Let's get the Benford of Joe Biden, um, Michigan. Okay, well, it's got well, it's some. Uh, it's, it's, it seems like it's representing uh, the distribution fairly well. Uh, let's do also then Donald Trump and see what that looks like. Okay, also dis uh, representing the distribution. Uh, now let's go to um, uh, let's say so we can we can simply right here we can track different. Um, so it looks like they're they're representing the distributions. Um, it's up to you. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't, I'm, again, I'm agnostic and, and the company of course is agnostic on this, but I thought it would be good just to kind of see um, what the data says, at least uh, this data that's coming from Kaggle and you can argue about, there's a lot of arguments that people can have um, about this. Uh, I'm not uh, uh, particularly, um, it's not really my, um, my place to, to make that judgment. But what I'm trying to show here is just the, how C-Phrase does this. So uh, let's just try this. This right here shows a little bit of an issue. C-Phrase just automatically finds ambiguity. So there's also, I guess, a county called uh, Florida. I wasn't aware of that. There's a county called Florida. But so we're interested in the state Florida here. Uh, that's Donald Trump in Florida. Uh, seven is a... So I guess the fraud detectors, they look for seven as a number. Uh, seven is... For some reason, humans, when they fudge numbers, they put in seven. Now, listen, I have no idea how these numbers get, get collected. Generally speaking, if you start adding these numbers together, so these are county reports. If you start adding them together, you're going to lose, um, it, things are going to revert back to, uh, back to, the, to the basic um, uh, Benford's distribution. So uh, anyways, I would encourage people to come here. Now, what I'm going to do uh, later here uh, in this video is I'm going to show how you I can make this a bit cleaner interface so that it's easier for people to kind of, I can add some examples. I can have some people who can click, um, click a little easier here to kind of build their questions. Okay? 
So that's that. Okay, now let's see what we got here. So, the first thing is that we have this uh, message I typed in, which is important that everybody understands this. Okay, so this is a, uh, the reason to, this interface is just showing how to configure C-Phrase uh, over some interesting data and let them, and let them explore, let people explore the data on their own. Um, so, we have no opinion on this, electro, uh, this election controversy, uh, completely sidestepping that. Okay, so now what we see here is we see the examples we have here. So if you wanted to just click on this, you can just see what the, you know, there's the, the Pennsylvania for Biden. Uh, you can also go to, so if you click examples here, then you wind up regenerating those. Uh, I'll, I'll be adding more. Uh, then if we go over here, what we have is we have a way just to kind of quickly uh, construct a question. So everything should kind of be point and click. That's much easier. So we have the candidates. Then let's take another values. Let's say the states. So we have the candidates. We have the states. And then finally, in fact, we have the analysis. And we only have Benford at this point. So we're going to basically say something like this. We say Benford, Massachusetts, Biden. Okay, so this is the, the now this right here, keep in mind this right here. This just means that there was a zero count for some, uh, some county. Always start at the one to look for the distribution. That looks like a very clean distribution there. Uh, then let's pick, um, uh, let's clear that. And let's basically, let's look at maybe, for instance, uh, Trump, uh, Benford, uh, Kentucky. Um, that's kind of weird, but now, well, you know, it's a bit, I mean, the thing about it also to keep in mind, there's not that many county counts. So what would be more interesting actually is to look at precinct data, but that's not, that's not available. But, um, again, enjoy, uh, click around. I think that, uh, make it a parlor game between, uh, people who have different opinions on the, on the outcome of the election or, uh, do it every way you wish. But the important thing is that if you have any interest in using in uh, putting building this kind of interface over some data of your own, just please send us a message at cphrase.com. Thank you very much.